Yesterday, somebody on Reddit mentioned converting old ZMR250 frames into tricopters, which seemed like a really cool thing to do, and I had an old ZMR250 fully built, which I hadn't touched in nine months. Uh, I do already have a tricopter though, so I decided to build a Y4 instead, which is something that I wanted to do for quite a while. So you've got the two props at the front as usual, then you've got two at the back in a coaxial counter or contra rotating arrangement. So the top one spins clockwise and the bottom one spins counterclockwise. It was actually a really simple build. It's a normal ZMR 250 frame, upside down, so the, the bottom two plates are at the top and the single top plate's at the bottom. Uh, the front arms are exactly the same as normal, but obviously upside down. And the rear, I took both of the arms and sandwiched them around the two plates, rather than having one arm, because that means I could mount the two motors back to back more easily without having to build or design some sort of back to back mount. So I used, um, the frame has these slots at the front and back where the camera plate for your FPV camera normally goes in. And I actually used those two slots to stick two bolts through to mount the rear uh, arms. And I drilled a hole between them for a third bolt that goes all the way through, which you can just make out there. And then I did another bolt drilled through towards the motors just to keep them rigid. If you don't do that, then this end here is like quite flexible and they'll bend in and out. And I've just taken it outside and given it a test flight and it actually works. Uh, it's running clean flight, latest clean flight on an old Nase Rev 6 because that's the board it had and it had clean flight on it and I couldn't be bothered to replace it with beta flight. And nowadays they're pretty much the same. So I think both beta flight and clean flight still have Y4 for F1 targets. Uh, if you want to do a Y6, you can't do that on an F3 or F4 target, I think. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun project. I'll put some hover test flight footage after this. If you have an old ZMR lying around collecting dust, I thoroughly recommend doing something weird with it. Enjoy! Thanks. 